Hey, how's it going YouTube? It is the 6th of October 2022 and this should be an interesting video. I've got everything, all the footage is synced so what you see is what you get with regards to the meter that will be synced uh, in line with the wind turbine. So very simple system. We have the power coming in from the turbine. It's a three phase generator, so three wires to the AC side of the rectifier which obviously converts to DC, then from the DC to the meter, just so we can see what, exactly what's going on, then from the meter to a standard speed controller, uh, which is used for DC motors. You can see it's got a little light inside, looks pretty cool. That was about 10 pound. The wind is about 18 to 20 miles an hour, I think. Sorry, let me just carry on explain. And then from the speed controller, we have a 24 volt, 600 watt dump load in some really manky looking water. So what is happening here? Let me just put the camera somewhere where we can see the meter properly. Before we start on the meter, you can see on the speed controller that it's marked out in basically 1 to 10 for power levels. So that, if I say 50%, that's on half. Okay, if I say full, then it's all the way around. I've just put it on full and the power's just gone up. And the interesting thing about this is this system doesn't require any kind of controller and it's not using batteries. Okay, we can see the batteries are not connected. So yeah, we're just going to leave that on for a bit. And when the wind dies down a bit, I'll explain the use of the speed controller. But let's just see how this is going. So yeah, to run this on maximum does require it to be pretty windy and your turbine will need to have big blades to have any result like this. So yeah, just a reminder, there's no batteries whatsoever. It's just the rectifier to the meter, to the speed controller, to the dump load. This on-off switch is a bit pointless uh, and the wiring's a bit crap but just experimenting at the moment right so now the winds died down the turbine doesn't have enough guts to keep the system going you'll see if I turn the speed controller to zero uh, it's drawing hardly any amps but you'll see the voltage rise quite quickly and you should see the turbine spinning very quickly. So let's start, let's put it on 100% now. There you go. And that's going straight to the dump load. But what will happen is when the wind dies down, it'll stop. Whereas if we put it on 30% now, so that's the speed control on 30%, we can see the turbine will obviously create less power, but there's more of a chance that it can keep going. Again, if I put it on full, it needs good wind to keep it going. So let's put it on 30% again and see if that gets going. You'll see the voltage rise slowly and as the volts rise so do the amps. There you go, there's the wind. It's all about the wind. I'm going to put it on max. You see there isn't enough wind to run it on max. It's constantly fighting a losing battle as you can see. Oh, maybe not. I'll leave it on max for a couple of minutes and we'll see if it gets uh, running very fast.
So there you can see the turbine just can't spin enough under the full load unless it's very very windy. So let's just turn it to zero one more time. And you should see the speed pick up on the turbine and if we get a gust we'll let it go to its maximum open voltage and then we'll whack the speed controller onto maximum. Here's a bit of a bit of wind. Here you go. She's picking up. Just wait and see if it goes any higher. Alright, full. Let's put it on 70%. See if we can keep this ball rolling. So when it's very windy, 70 or 60%, I think, you could just leave it on constantly and the dump load would just suck all the power out into the water. Put on 50%. Still struggling. Zero. Here we go. Max. Oh, it's trying. If it was windy as it was yesterday, then we probably could run it on maximum. But yeah, I thought I'd show you that. I hope you like it. So just the setup again once. Wind turbines, three power cables to the rectifier, to the meter, to the speed controller. These things are really cool. You should get one. And to the dump load. And we're on full. Let's keep recording, see if it gets a bit windier. Still running on maximum on the speed controller. Oh, the water's getting a little bit warm. I doubt we're going to see any boiling, but I'm going to turn the speed controller to zero again. Obviously the amps is showing very little because at the moment we're not actually drawing anything. Let's go to 50%. No, well that's a good enough video to show you how that works.